to give your daughter away. <laughs> <laughs> She's told me on more than one occasion that when she was a young girl, she asked you to be her best friend and how happy she was when you accepted. So I can only imagine how happy she is today. Um, I'd just like to thank Tam's family in general who've been ever so welcoming to me. They've all been absolutely lovely. Thank you very much, Donna. Um, and even when we went up to Blackpool on their annual family trip, integrated me into the group by getting me dancing and singing stupid songs with Tamsin. Yeah. Which is exactly the kind of thing I love to do. <laughs> I don't know if I might be treading on Chris's toes later, but I do need to thank a lot of people because everyone's been so helpful. We've only been engaged for three months or so, and we needed a great deal of help to get everything to this stage today. Um, so Andrea has been fantastic getting that church hall uh, in Christchurch absolutely wonderful and all the food and drink uh, for everybody to have. Uh, the ushers, we've got uh, Stuart, we've got, uh, well, we've got Chris over here and George is over here somewhere. Uh, they've been brilliant. We've had to really put them to work because we've had 220 people in that church and they've needed to get it all spick and span. My uncle Joe for us around, so I'd like to thank them too. Um, um, Blower girls who were absolutely incredible and our page boys, little Jacob there as well and of course Scott down here, they all look so delightful, fantastic, you did a beautiful job. Um, Lee, thank you ever so much for all your help from the early stage with the invites and the rings and handling all those today. I'd like to thank again the Hartley family, we said that earlier, the, the orders of service looked absolutely beautiful and those photos in the church will look amazing I'm sure. Um, on my side of the family, I'd just like to thank my mum, who's been incredible. I, I, I only know the one mum, but I can guarantee she's the best one out of all the others. <laughs> yeah. She's been so, so brilliant. Sorting out photographers, picking up the phone and arranging things when Tamsin and I have been too... Lazy. Uh, lazy to <laughs> get it serious. It's been invaluable. Um, I'd like to thank my dad for that ridiculous cake. It's so fantastic. I think it's a, a sure buy a bet for Great British Bake Off when it comes around next time. Um, the bridesmaids, all eight of them, something doesn't like a big entrance at all, of course, with the bridesmaids uh -huh. and eight of the bridesmaids, but they all look fantastic and thank you all for your help. Um, right, okay. Uh, I'm not a great public speaker, I don't enjoy it, but I, I think tradition dictates you need to say something better. Right, here we go. Um, <laughs> it's been a glorious 18 months getting to know you, Tamsin. It really has. It's been beautiful. Every day seems to have been an adventure. And the past three months have been crazy, but absolutely fantastic. Uh, I love you so much. I can't wait for the rest of the years to come together. Oh. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, Sometimes, when you aren't the best public speaker, maybe take words from someone else who can say it better than I will. There's a song by uh, Nick Cave that I'd like to not sing. Oh, <laughs> it's better to put you through that tangent. Got that part. But, okay. I don't believe in an interventionist God, but I know, darling, that you do. But if I did, I would kneel down before him and ask him not to intervene when it came to you. Not to touch your hair on your head, to leave you as you are, and if he had to direct you, then direct you into my arms. And I don't believe in the existence of angels, but looking at you, I'm wondering if that's true. But if I did, I would summon them together and ask them to watch over you, to make bright and clear your path, um, <clears throat> and to burn a candle for you, walk like Christ in grace and love and guide you into my arms. Chris is the best man today, he's an old friend of mine and such a lovely guy. I am his best man in the summer, so if you send one of mine to the hospital, <laughs> one of yours is going to the morgue, so I'll leave it to you, buddy. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much for the introduction. <laughs>
Good day, man. That was, that was, that was a beautiful moment. Really, really nice. So, you know, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Um, it's not.